Does anybody know the American Audio Company, THX? It was a rather unusual company, but has a disturbing deep note. They use deep notes for audio tests. I remember seeing THX trailers on my childhood DVDs, and that concerned me. However, there was a robot mascot that Pixar made for THX called Tex, and he used to scare me when I was little. His design is just all that. I am here to tell you a story about how he got a little weirder. I was out for a walk with my dad's metal detector to find some money to put in my wallet. I didn't hear a beep from the machine until later. I grabbed a shovel, and it was revealed to be a cardboard box. I put it in the house and opened it. What was inside it? A THX DVD. The case had a black background and Tex holding up some tools. It was labeled as Tex Halloween 2007. I felt interested in watching it, so I decided to turn it on. I put it in my portable DVD player I got for my 13th birthday, and some sort of message came up. This DVD was a test for people who are afraid of Tex and want him to be creepier. To promote Halloween by Rob Zombie. Despite the fact it's not THX certified, we wanted to test out how creepy Tex would be if he were a horror character, so sit back and enjoy Tex's 2007 Halloween trailer. So, the trailer was to promote Halloween by Rob Zombie, I thought to myself. It started with a black screen for about 10 seconds. After that, it finally showed the THX logo in a dark background. Tex walked into the shot with some tools and waved to us. He flew to the logo and went to the X and opened a trapdoor. The camera then followed Tex as he slid down the secret passage. I saw Tex running, but it was hard to keep up with him. As I thought I finally caught up with him, the screen cut to black. I heard a light switch, and as the light turned on, Tex was in a room full of dead bodies and corpses. Some were hung, some were mutilated, and some were stabbed. Tex smiled to us and asked us. Do you like it? He had a very deep, brash and bogan-like voice. I couldn't handle the sight of the corpses, so, I paused the DVD and I rushed to my bathroom and vomited into the toilet. After I threw up, I went back to watch the trailer. I played it again, and Tex suddenly vanished without a trace. After about 5 seconds, Tex's face appeared onto the screen with blood stains, accompanied by a loud woman scream. That scared the crap out of me. The camera zoomed out of his face. Tex then said, since I'm going to make robot food, I'm gonna make you as my very own human sandwich. He grabbed out a saw. I was so scared that I was about to hyperventilate. Tex said something else. But first, would you like to see if I have eyes or not? Tex lifted up his cap, revealing human eyeballs planted on his face. Then a loud static sound emitted. I covered my ears, but I didn't close my eyes or take them off the screen. Time to rock and roll with the two man tonight. Yelled Tex. The camera started to run away from the site, and Tex started to chase the camera, laughing maniacally. The camera tried to get out of the trapdoor of the X, but Tex grabbed him and flew into the sky. They were so high up, I felt like I was being held by him. Tex made the camera face him, and held the saw to his throat, grinning evilly. The deep note will never end. He tilted his head to the right, grinning with his robot teeth showing, stained in blood. Then he tilted his head to the left, but this time, with a grimace. He was about to slash his saw at the camera, but he said, Oh, forget it. One death will be more worse for you. So, he threw the camera away from him, and the camera was falling. Tex's saw also fell with him, and the saw's gravity slashed at his arm. It was revealed that it was a human's puff. The human finally fell to the ground. He seemed okay, but he got impaled by an incoming saw that stabbed right through his chest, killing him and he screamed in agony. The man fell to the floor. It later stopped showing the pov of the human, and finally showed a wide shot of the THX logo. We also get to see a glimpse of the man. He had brown hair, a yellow shirt, blue jeans, and red sneakers. The deep note rose, and it played. Unlike the other deep notes throughout the THX trailers from past to present, this trailer's deep note was a mixture of various people screaming, stock sounds and real screams. Tex dropped to the ground, like how he did in that Stampede trailer, or Mukan trailer made by Pixar back in 1997. He grinned at us. You know what? You shouldn't have seen this trailer. If you never lay eyes on me, nor thought of me, then you wouldn't have had nightmares about me. Good night. Then he flew off into the darkness, chuckling evilly, before the trailer ended. As the deep note faded out, it showed the famous THX slogan, The audience is listening. Right under that is Happy Halloween in blood. The corners of the screen were even blood stained. But the DVD wasn't over yet. It showed one final message which is an apology to the DVD viewer. We are very sorry we scared you. 
Lots of people were afraid of Tex when they were young. You see, many people get afraid of a certain fictional character, and they would have nightmares. Again, we are very sorry. Then it showed, Happy Halloween from THX, with the THX URL under it. Tex can also be heard laughing from the distance as this screen was displayed. The DVD ended. For real, I was really angry and scared at the same time. I took the DVD out of my DVD player and attempted to destroy it. But I thought to myself that I should upload the footage to YouTube for everyone to see. I put the DVD back in and recorded it with my phone. After uploading it to YouTube, I stomped on the DVD, hammered it, and threw it out in the bin. I didn't sleep for the night, I've had a lot of nightmares about the trailer I can't believe I have seen the scariest video of the THX robot in my life. I don't know if I am going to forget about the video or not, but hopefully I will. I reported the trailer to THX. They even remembered making it for the screening of Halloween, 2007, and they felt bad for giving autistic THX fans nightmares. No one needs to know the truth that Tex is a psychopath. He's a helpful robot, but he looks creepy on the outside. 